And during those collisions, we have to decide whether momentum is conserved and kinetic energy is conserved during these different types of collisions. Oh, we should do this. So, different types of collisions. Please give me. Different type of collision, please. Uh, so, elastic. we have an elastic collision. What is the other type of collision? Uh, Bailey. Elastic. Inelastic. Now, I'm going to put the word perfectly, parenthetically, in front of inelastic. Because when we talk about inelastic collisions, usually we talk about perfectly inelastic collisions and elastic collisions. We'll talk about the subtle distinction between perfectly inelastic and inelastic in just a minute. So for elastic collisions, actually let's come up with a one word definition that I have for perfectly inelastic versus elastic. Anybody remember? The difference between perfectly inelastic and elastic. One word definition of each. Uh, is elastic bounce? Elastic is where the two objects run into one another and bounce off of one another. Therefore, the opposite of bounce <laughs> is they stick together. So a perfectly inelastic collision is where the two objects run into one another and stick together. An elastic collision is where the two objects bounce off of one another. Now, is momentum conserved during an elastic collision? Vlad? Yes. How do you know? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, if the two objects have the same mass, yes, but otherwise it, it kind of depends on the masses of the two objects or multiple objects. How do we know momentum is conserved during an elastic collision where the two objects run into one another and bounce? Okay. Because uh, everything's internal. Because during a collision, everything's internal, so momentum is going to be conserved. That was the definition of the net force equals zero. And everything is going, all the force is going to be internal during an elastic collision. That being said, are they going to be internal during a perfectly inelastic collision class? Yes. We'll go with a yes on that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the opposite. Oh. 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 <laughs> it's a fancy Y. It's more like a fork than a Y, but then it's a Y. Is, yes. <laughs> is kinetic energy conserved during an elastic? Elastic collision where the two objects run into one another and bounce off. Emily? Yes. Is kinetic energy conserved during a perfectly inelastic collision? Nittish? No. No. So there lies the difference that kinetic energy is not conserved during an inelastic collision. Now, it's during a perfectly inelastic collision that the two objects stick together. And during an inelastic collision, which is somewhere in the middle, the two objects run into one another bounce off of one another, and kinetic energy is not conserved. I have my happy and sad spheres. <laughs> That's what they're called. Here we go. Clearly, two different events. True. Let's talk about this one first. Please tell me what type of collision is this? Wrong. Elastic. An elastic collision. So during this, momentum is conserved and kinetic energy is conserved. Inelastic. It's inelastic. How do you know kinetic energy is not conserved? If kinetic energy were conserved, it would bounce all the way back up to here. It does not. So clearly, during that collision, some of the energy is converted from kinetic energy into heat and sound. So that is, notice it's neither elastic nor perfectly inelastic. It's the in-between one, which is inelastic. It bounces off of one another, and kinetic energy is not conserved. What about this one? What type of collision is that one? Match. Uh, inelastic. Notice, this is also inelastic. They don't stick together, so this is not perfectly inelastic. But notice that you have more kinetic energy being converted into heat and sound, right? So listen. That one's louder. Because you have more energy being converted to heat and sound. Good. 
please open your textbook to pages 261 and 262? 261 and 262. On page 261 and 262, you're going to see a lot of equations. These are all equations having to do with perfectly inelastic and elastic collisions. Here's what I would like you to do with them. Ignore them. Do not memorize them. Do not learn them. There is never a circumstance that I, there has never been a, an instance on any AP test where having those equations memorized was useful. What you need to do is understand what we just went through. Conservation of momentum means the sum of the initial momentums equals the sum of the final momentums. Conservation of kinetic energy simply means the initial kinetic energy equals the, the sum of the final kinetic energies. And those equations right there are taking those specific situations and deriving equations from them, which is not something you should do. What you should do is understand that and be able to use the equations. That is much more useful for you. So please do not memorize those equations. <laughs>